We literally left this White House a pandemic playbook that would have shown them how to respond before the virus reached our shores. They probably used it to, I don't know, prop up a wobbly table somewhere. We don't know where that playbook went. Eight months into this pandemic, cases are rising again across this country. Donald Trump isn't suddenly going to protect all of us. He can't even take the basic steps to protect himself. Just last night, he complained up in Erie that the pandemic made him go back to work. I'm quoting him. He was, he was upset that the pandemic's made him go back to work. If he'd actually been working the whole time, it never would have gotten this bad. So look, he, he, here's the truth. I, I want to be honest here. This pandemic would have been challenging for any president. But this idea that somehow this White House has done anything but completely screw this up is just not true. I'll give you a, a very specific example. Korea identified its first case at the same time that the United States did. At the same time, their per capita death toll is just 1.3 percent of what ours is. In Canada, it's just 39 percent of what ours is. Other countries are still struggling with the pandemic, but they're not doing as bad as we are because they've got a government that's actually been paying attention. And that means lives lost. And that means an economy that doesn't work. And just yesterday, when asked if he'd do anything differently, Trump said, not much. Really? Not much? Nothing you can think of that could have helped some people keep their loved ones alive? So Joe's not going to screw up testing. He's not going to call scientists idiots. He's not going to host a super spreader event at the White House. Joe will get this pandemic under control with a plan to make testing free and widely available, to get a vaccine to every American cost free, and to make sure our frontline heroes never to ask other countries for the equipment they need. 